Hey everybody, I'm going to do a new type of entrance for these hives. I have a kit that was sent to me from Bee Watch and it changes the entrance of the hives. It's not the wide opening of the Langstroths. It's not the what's now considered traditional and it harkens back to nature where when they're in a tree they have some type of small opening and not only that but then behind the opening it has a baffle and from what I understand there's studies that show that when a intruder comes into the hive another type of bug rather than a bee it immediately goes up and this baffle will stop that they'll go up they can't get into the hive and so they go back out whereas the bees learn this baffle and go back and learn how to get into the hive it goes down and it has an opening back in so in this video i'm going to show how we built it how it's installed in your hives and then i'm going to put a small 10 frame who's now in just a single deep or a single medium with her wide open bottom. I'm going to change her out and she's going to have a solid bottom. And anyone that's been watching my videos, they know that I work, all my stuff is on um, screen bottoms. Uh, I have a lot of pests in here. I have a huge tendency to get hive beetle. And of course, then there's Varroa and whatever else. I haven't had a big problem with wasps and things. So that's what this video is about. It's called Bee Watch and there's other ones out there. So let's get to it.
So here's the center marks here. And here's the center mark here. So I'll just try to put these on. And you can see, you know, I'm just using the tops here with that, and then this line with that. And the same thing there. Those were what my lines were for, so I can kind of center it. I'm going to start with a 10 frame because I want to see her work and it's also called the upstairs downstairs and it's just instead of the wide open landing board and then reducing it in nature if you find if you do any bee lining you find bees and even if you do cutouts you know that bees are going in this tiny little opening and so not only do they get this little opening and then they tend to they tend to propolisize it down to the size that they want and so that's what this is kind of based on and then of course the inside baffle so let me show you what I'm talking about this is how the baffles are installed you drill these holes one two and three and this medium is to the three holes go on the box that's to be their brood so I'm already at where I'm gonna put it so this normal wide open it's going to be a solid bottom and i'm going to move all these frames into this box loud pipes save lives i'm going to move it all so now this will be their entrance and if you, that's the baffle it looks like it's solid, but it's not. You can see it's a baffle where they can bees can get in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move her into her box. Now when I go 
The other thing they say to do is not only is she going to be on a solid bottom, this is her main brood box with the three entrances. If she needs another brood box, she gets just a solid bottom box with no holes. And that's called the basement. So she's got a basement. Then she goes up to her brood box with the entrances, so that would be the first floor. And then when she needs a medium for honey storage, the first super, that one super has only one hole. And I'll get to that. So I think the, the girls are gonna have to take a little while to learn the entrance. big fat queen. this hard because she's not big, she's not tiny, and I wanted to see how they react because I know they're going to have to learn that. Uh, I would put on your glove because yeah. this pours so much stuff out. Yeah, that's fine. I got one on Oh my god, you're disgusting. Thank you, I'm filming. My concern is that this is a B space, so I don't know, it's at the measuring again, but it seems like it may not allow a queen to fly, so it's not something you might want on your, uh, your nukes, and I don't know how it's going to work with drones. This works really well for a uh, hive beetle. That's my next quest is to make sure that there's the least 
amount of pie beetle. We shall see. I don't think the UK has high beetle. But I do. So there she is in all her glory. They seem to be making it in a little bit. And when I put a, the next medium on, it will go below with absolutely no entrance. When I put a super on, it will have one center hole and it will then allow them to enter up into the super at least a little bit. They seem to be learning it. Oh, there's a drone. Where did he come from? Well, apparently it works for drones too. So yeah. That's what I get for letting my husband measure. So bees go in and go down. But the theory is, is that pests go in and go up. And so this won't let them in. <laughs>